You probably haven't had much screen time without being bombarded by political ads, but those political ads actually come to an end on election night. As a Montana rancher, I know bullshit when I see it. I cannot wait till they come to an end. Thank God. <laughs> I'm so tired of hearing the same thing over and over again. I'm looking very much forward to it. Political ads have been front and center everywhere you look across the Treasure State. My phone's blowing up, ads, notifications, I'm ready for it to be done. Voters like Charles Bergevin says he's seen so many political ads. I feel like I could recite the whole commercial. Phrases like, Two-faced tester, shady she. Elsie Landinger says she's avoided political ads this season. I feel like we have them every election season and I ignore them. But many of the people in line to register to vote the day before election day say that they haven't been so lucky to avoid the ads. My phone has been just going crazy for the last two months. Usually through YouTube. Uh, that's majority of my streaming access. And cute little cups with his logo on it. Many people feel the same way as Wyatt Sarda, who would have preferred less finger pointing this election. Little nitpicky things of each candidate just kind of gets tiring. I'm, I'd like to actually hear some facts or something. But as voters head to the poll with hours leading up to election day. Oh, I'm excited for them to be done. It's, it's been a lot, <laughs> to say the least. I can't wait for Wednesday. <laughs> the end is in sight. Most of our MTN stations will stop airing political ads tomorrow night around 5 o'clock. Reporting in Bozeman, I'm Edgar Cidio, MTN News.